Okay, so this is the Melissa and Doug short and snap color match. Uh, it's basically a really, really great tool if you want to teach your kids when they are really young the things about colors, right? When you are teaching your kids about things like say sofa uh, or say, you know, box or game, you can actually point to the box and show them. However, showing attributes about that thing. For example, this box is blue in color. That's very, very difficult to communicate to your kids, right? For example, this sofa is black in color, right? How do you teach the concept of color black? How do you show them, okay, there's another black color, like your hair is black in a similar way? Very difficult, right? Now with this short and snap thing, it has really, really helped us that we can teach our kids about colors. So how do we do it? You have this one wooden board. The fact that it's wooden is really, really nice. You have a lot of this, 10 of these, which are colorful on one side and white on another side. When you use the white side, you can basically let your child's creativity come into picture where they can put whatever colors they want. On this side, you can use to teach our kids about colors. Honestly, we started with the fish. We went to butterfly. And today we did the turtle with my daughter. I'm going to show this to you with my daughter as well. But it's like really nice and easy toy. So the way it works is, let's say you put something like, say fish here, right? And you open this color caps here. Yeah. Let me open it. And then you then you ask your kid to put the appropriate color in. So let's say your kid is trying to put here. You say, see, not matching. You need to match. And then they understand. And then show them by putting the red color in. And then you can show them the color. There is a color similarity here. And they try to put something like this. You say, not matching. And then you put this here. And show them the color match. So it immediately clicks. What is the similarity between this? Why does this not work? And why does this work? And you can do something similar for all of these. So you can start to show your kids how to put these things in for different colors. Since there are four colors, which is really nice because there are not too many colors because otherwise they will be confused a lot. They're not too less because they, otherwise they just distinguish between two. For example, imagine if you are just taking yellow and or red for the whole picture then it's difficult to teach our kids that they are too different. They might just feel that there is something special about them. But with a set of four, this is really, really nice. And you start to put and fill this whole board in here. So this is when you are trying to teach our kids colors, right? Once they are a little bit older, or if you want to basically, you know, help them, help them, you know, grow their creativity side, you can put them here and say, design the fish the way you want. And then they can do different things. Like for example, your kids can have a very very colorful fish where this one side is red, second one is green, second row is green, third row is blue and the fourth row is yellow and so on, right? And then make this like a really really fancy colorful colorful fish, right? That is one way to do it. Um, so the fact that there are 10 of them means, you know, basically in total there are 20 technically, right? 10 on each side. Um, also, when you when you lift it here, it does not come out because you can see the color snaps in. Also, once my daughter makes this whole colorful thing, like for example, when she made the fish here, what we did was we just put the board on top of the of a refrigerator, right? So now, whenever we 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 show everybody, look, look what my daughter did. My daughter made a new painting, and you can teach your kids, like you know, and. And you know, help them understand when they make stuff. It's really, really nice and it's a nice accomplishment that they, they have done something. That way, you know, they are encouraged to do more, try more things. So, really smart toy has really helped us. I'm going to show this to you with my daughter, setting these things up. Okay, you can start now. Start. Good. 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 Yep, very good. Come on. Good. 
Okay, wait a Yep. So you can see, she is picking all the orange colors automatically, right? Mama. And she is smart enough to understand where the colors should go. You can see how she is putting orange in the orange color. Viti, can you can you try this green color? Yes, very good. Very good. Viti, blue color. Good. Okay, Viti, hada hada kora chindo. Yellow, yellow color, yellow color. Put on the yellow color. Yes. Yeah. So you can see, I'm very, she's trying to put colors one by one. First, she had to do orange color. I wanted to show you. She understands different colors now. I wanted to show that she understands different colors now. So I was asking her to pick up other colors. So, and now she will really complete it in a few minutes. This whole thing as, as soon as I bring the bag here she now knows that she's now supposed to remove start removing stuff and put it in the bag and you can see because that's her routine that we have taught her now right that when she makes something she needs to obviously put everything back so you can teach a lot of things to your kids like this right and the fact that there are like so many different animals means it's always you can always have a new animal every day my my daughter is 19 months old now so at this age, you do want to be careful that if you do too many animals on the same same day, she won't be happy. She won't enjoy it. So we always do one one animal per day, one one side per day. That's it. So there are twenty. So in total, we will do twenty times, but never one on the same day. So that is what I would recommend. Um, and after this thing, the thing that we just made here, can always put it on the refrigerator and show it to her. Um, she is now used to it. She has made this so many times now. That she, you know, it's not like a big achievement anymore for her. But it's still fun for kids to see. And you can teach them different things here. Um, so overall a great try. It's one of the easiest way to teach your kids colors. So I would definitely recommend it for everybody. Virti, say thank you to everybody. Very good.